<laughs> Hello. Hello, bidgets. So, I'm sick today, if you couldn't tell. And one thing that I know I love to do that makes me feel better is thrift. So, I went to some places, and let me see how much I spent. $150, and there's a lot of things in here, so I would like to share them today before I pass out. <laughs> Today I have a combination of ginger, lemon, and honey. It tastes disgusting because I'm an Asian who hates ginger, fun fact. But I know that you've seen these videos, no shade to the people who do them. They spend like $500 or even 1000 at Urban and all these expensive stores when you can easily go to a thrift store, spend one fifth of the amount, and get the same amount of items if not more. And I managed to do that today, so let's just get into it. And if some people get offended when I say I'm cheap in the title, it's just because I don't want to pay that much as other people. I'm done online shopping and buying things full price. I, I would rather buy cheaper. I think everyone would. First, jeez, oh, doing that just made me dizzy. So first, I went to Plato's Closet, and one trick to get a discount right away is just to bring stuff in. If they take one of your items, they're going to give you a receipt, and they also give you 10% off your order that day. So... Bring some stuff you don't need. This is from American Eagle. I got it for $8. It's just a short sleeve blue shirt that has a really cool pattern on it. It actually looks like a bunch of different Converse, and those are my favorite shoes, so I needed this. And my sister actually told me to start buying these, and I've always wanted to, I just didn't know how to wear them. But she taught me, and I bought some suspenders. These were $4 at Goodwill. <coughs> And usually you pair them with button-ups. And for some reason, I've suddenly liked looking like a 40-year-old man in the 1980s, going to golf on a Sunday in suburbia, and I have three children. Something like that. Maybe I was born in the wrong generation, I don't know. But I like suspenders now, and you're gonna see me look like a dad, and you're gonna compliment it, because I don't give a shit, I'm sick. Did I mention about two pairs of suspenders? They have gold clips on them, which I think is a good accent. And these ones just have like little black diamonds on them, and the blue ones have something that looks like a petal. They're cute, I'm gonna wear them, that's all. While I'm at it, I got this belt from Goodwill. This was $2.99, and it's a woman's belt, but I've only had a yellow belt, and I really wanted a red one. In fact, this looks exactly like the yellow one, so I'm really happy I found it. Okay, last thing from Goodwill are these picture frames. One was $2.00 and the other three were three dollars. I somehow found four matching ones all in a pile and no one wanted them. But I've been recently trying to decorate my office and I did not want to pay full price for picture frames. So one trick my teacher taught me is to just buy picture frames from Goodwill that look the same and just spray paint them black and then they suddenly look new. It's an easy trick. So yeah. That's all from Goodwill. Next up, I found these size 10 Vans, and I was really upset that they were size 10 because I would actually like to paint these. They're like an off-white. They're slightly pink. I don't know if you can even tell. But they were $20, aside from, you know, the usual 50 that you have to buy. And I think I'm gonna paint Starry Night on them because I'm bored, so you might see that as a video. Next up, I got this Hollister hat for $6. It says later beaches on it, and I'm going to Florida for a senior trip, so I wanted one. Here we have like a... It's a denim BDG jacket, and I got this for $12, and the thing is I've never really worn something of this color. Once again, it fits the look of looking like a dad. I don't know, maybe I finally reached that age of wanting to look old because I'm ready to die. But it's cute, and it's from BDG, which is probably very expensive. I'm just gonna assume this was 80 at Urban. Okay, this has the tag on it, and I'm so proud of it. These were originally $44. I got these for 10 and... The thing is, I don't really wear shorts, I kind of have a fear of them because I hate the way my legs look. And if I'm gonna wear shorts, I'm gonna have shaped legs because I just hate... I hate having hair. I'm sorry, I used to shave my legs when I was little. I saw my sister do it and I wanted to do it too and I'm so used to it now. I like feeling like a beluga whale. Is this why you're watching me? For these types of comments. That means that this is like a dark olive color and there's just little white triangles on them and I really like the pattern. And I guess the only reason I like this is because if I saw this as a shirt pattern, I would 100% wear it. So that's why I'm gonna wear on my shorts now. Or I'll never take this out because I hate shorts still. This is from Old Navy. $6, it's a woman's shirt. I was just casually strolling by the women's section and I saw something yellow and my brain instantly went, Frederick, that belongs to you no matter what it is. And 
my brain was right. I mean, it's it's just so cute, and it's six dollars. Like what? So I thought maybe I could tuck these into my shorts, and it would look cute. I don't know if it does. I haven't tried them on yet. I'll see in the video. And the print on this is actually really good quality because it doesn't feel like it's gonna chip anytime soon. And it smells like a little lady. <laughs> I also thought this would pair well with the shirt. I don't know if it does, but we'll see in the video. I got this for $8. It's from Mosimo. Mosimo, I'm sorry. And my sister found this for me. It's actually a women's shirt, but it's really thin, so I could wear this in summer. And it has this little accent stripe on it, which I love stripes. You all know that. But I thought it'd just be a nice light jacket to put over any shirt because it's really cute. This next shirt was $10. It's from the company Life is Good, but I just thought this is one cute ass design that is 100% for winter and I'm still gonna wear it in spring. It's a medium so it doesn't really fit me that well, but I'm fine with it because if you just tuck this in, no one really cares if you have oversized sleeves. But you guys know I don't really wear green still, and this is close enough to green so I'm just trying to expand my fashion sense. And finally! One of my favorite things now. This is a Patagonia shirt. And I just want to look this up really quick because I know Patagonia is expensive as hell. A few minutes later. I couldn't find the exact pullover because this is probably an old one. But it's a woman's fleece pullover and it's a size medium so it's a little big on me. But it's rose printed. And my sister found it for me and I was like, oh my god, I love you so much. I'm sorry I'm sick. It was just so cute when I got it. And I'm so excited because I can finally fit in as one of those girls who have Patagonia shirts because we all know they exist. And I never fit in because I was not willing to pay over $100 for a fleece pullover. So that's everything. <gasps> Never mind, I have one more thing. All right, so this is now my last item. I've always wanted to find things that are like, oh yeah, the Frederick would definitely wear this. And I've never really had that for shoes because they're kind of basic and men's shoes don't really come that interesting, if you couldn't tell. But I finally found shoes. This was the first item I saw when I walked in because I always go for shoes. And the only reason I noticed these was because it just looked so fucking weird at first glance. I mean, can you, under can you understand what these are? Mind you, the shoelaces aren't as neat as they are right now. I spent an hour figuring out how to tie them. They're also a size 7, but fortunately, I forced my feet to fit in them. And I'm still debating whether or not these are hideous or just really trendy and cool. And I don't even know what to say. Like, uh, these are... Are these double shoes? I don't know. I thought someone managed to shove two pairs of shoes together. Because when I did this, there's the converse sign on both of them and I just tried to I tried to pull it out as hard as I could and then I realized everything is doubled but the sole itself like even this flap right here there's two flaps they're very confusing to me I don't understand them but I really like them when I try to wear them they also take at least 10 minutes to get into because you have there's so much to do but yeah I finally found like my shoe and I'm gonna be wearing this for a while and if this gets damaged I'm gonna scream because this was eight dollars that totaled up to around $150 after taxes. So what I want you guys to learn from this is that it is not hard to thrift. Trust me, if I can find something in a boring city, in the boring state of New Jersey, you can find something anywhere else, but not maybe Kansas because you're, you're flat. But just try to go out more, like find thrift stores near you and look through them. If you want me to make a video of how I thrift, even though there's not really a tutorial on that, you just kind of have to get lucky, I will. But my one tip is, take your time. It took me three hours to do all of this. And please try on everything. Even if it's something you think you might not like, try it. I originally put this back on the rack and then suddenly my brain was like, wait, what am I thinking? So even if you're debating if you like it or not, just try it on because you might fall in love with it the moment you wear it. That is all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed, please like this video and tell me how to get better because I'm done being sick. Tell me which piece of clothing you like the most and subscribe for more videos every Saturday, Sunday, or Wednesday, Thursdays if not procrastinating. If you want some of the clothes that I don't wear anymore, you can go to this Depop. I haven't put anything up there yet actually because I've been procrastinating, but I hopefully will this weekend. And just know that I love you guys and everything is less than three. I'm also very dizzy right now, so I'm just gonna go. I just have to edit. And here's a video for you. Watch it.